use the Robin oh, Hood that. method. The Robin mm -hmm. Hood method. I love that as mm -hmm. a, as a, a, a description. Can you ex explain that to me? Yeah. So. And uh, the Robin Hood metal method is just a, co a term I coined when I was in a meeting one day that's made sense where uh, I remember sitting in this wonderful partner organization that are now partners of ours and, and talking to Noel and um, Ken and, and saying, look, this is the way it is. You're going to pay for it and we're going to give it for free to everybody else. And that's what we have done. It's, it's the, called the Robin Hood model. Now, we don't give it for free in all cases. If an organization can fund it in some way, they give us some small amount, as many, many do. Um, but it's really so that money is never the barrier, Teresa. And that was an important part of this for me in setting it up, that we could set up um, a framework and a process of really good leadership strengthening processes, you know, so that we could know how to strengthen our leadership, but that everybody could take part. Money could never be the object. And that was that was an important Excellent. part of this. And I know that what there are, there are eight principles. You're looking at listening, positive attitude, respect, determination, empathy and understanding, accountability, of course, which is underscores effective leadership everywhere, honesty and integrity, and then mindfulness. And it's all encompassing. It's lovely. It's, it's all the skills that we would hope would uh, be at the heart of a, I suppose, ethical leadership and leadership with heart. And it, what I love about it is how you can apply it at school level or right through into the business world, because I'm always harping on about the disconnect between the education world and the business world. This brings it together, even in understanding. Yeah. And, and in fact, the, the, you know, the eight there that you mentioned, uh, and in fact, there are a few other ones now. We we didn't come up with those ourselves. So we felt it would be a bit arrogant of us if we um, sort of imposed on people in Ireland what the areas of leadership and the behaviours we need to improve. So we did independent research and we asked in Ireland, we asked people in order to lead ourselves well, what leadership behaviors do we need to improve? And they were the top areas that came out, except for mindfulness. Mindfulness has been added in by one, one partner has asked us specifically to add, add that in. in a, one and you can, see it's, you can see its space, can't you? Yeah, totally. In, yeah, absolutely. Totally.